Welcome back to No Clue Gaming. We are back with Kingdom Hearts 1. And um, we're not drunk. And we're not drunk. Uh, apparently the original game was supposed to consist of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy as the main trio with Mickey as a protagonist. This was changed when Square insisted that the main character be human. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So it was almost you playing as Mickey throughout the whole thing. Yeah, which I can see that that would have been... I don't know. I like how he just kind of shows up randomly. Not yeah, I like him as a mystery, because in this game, he's a mystery. Speaking of Sora, let's talk about his name. In Japanese, Sora means sky. His uh, his two island buddies, Riku and Kairi. Kairi. I was trying to do it myself. you got to let me do I'm it. I'm sorry. Also have relevant tra uh, translations. Kairi is the ocean, whereas Riku is the land. Huh. Okay. Together, they form one heck of a trip. At some point during development, Ariel from The Little Mermaid was going to be one of the seven princesses of heart. Uh, this would make sense since she is a princess after all. It was later decided she was too strong and independent to be a victim of the heartless. Okay, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So she instead was turned into a party member. Alice then from Alice in Wonderland was her replacement. Even though she isn't a princess, she was still pure of heart, so in a way that makes some sense. So you're sitting there saying that Ariel was too strong and blah blah blah. This bitch gave up her fin for a dude she just met. You know? Yeah, like, true. She gave up her her entire life and everything for a dude she just met, couldn't even speak to, never even kissed him, all this other stuff, but she's too strong to go from the- come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> she made a deal with the fucking witch of the sea. <laughs> I think sitting here, my body's just like, oh god. Yeah, it's just like dream. remembering, yes. yeah. <laughs> the belt's not even doing anything. It's it's not even on the tightest no. loop. <laughs> I posted something when Kobe Bryant had uh, his helicopter crash and, you know, all those people died. And it wasn't even anything bad. It was just a simple statement about something and the facts. And I was just like, you know, I got blocked by a bunch of people. Anyways, I did this whole post and I actually had one guy basically tell me that I should be dead instead of Kobe. And I'm just like, okay, reflex, but all right. Um, so that, and then a few other people. And then this one guy commented, and his name is Garrett. I have no idea who this person is. I just have a bunch of random people on there, especially because all I do is share memes. So it happens. So I'm sitting there and he, what, what was his initial thing? He just called me names, right? Yeah. Something that all of a sudden Leah got online and then all of a sudden my notifications just went nuts. <laughs> he said, driving causes plenty of deaths. He was never convicted of anything, eat a dick. What say he was, is reading hard for you guys? I said the same people who were supporting him were also the ones casting him out during his rape charge. And he told me to GFY, um, and I was like, you guys, I love it. Can't even hold a conversation or read. And then this other guy goes, in, John goes against Gary and's like, bro, let's talk to each other with common respect. It goes a long way to a good life. The only reason I'm reading all these is because you got to hear this before Leo pops in. <laughs> so I said, yeah, notice you missed I was a lot point. nicer than I should have been. Yeah. Then Leah comes in. <laughs> I can tell you really care about Kobe seeing how you made him your profile picture. Yet you, um, yeah, all you post about is your dog and the Buffalo Bills, but nothing about basketball in the past few months. You like fishing and putting your two cents in, which is strange. She and how you work for NYS, which is surprisingly, uh, which surprisingly means everyone who lives in the state does the same as you. So I would compare you to a girl that wipes old people's junk for a living. But looking at your other pictures, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> looking at your other pictures and you, um, in your posts, you do that every day. You're single, which makes sense with the posts you make. Only shared one thing about basketball, which was a video going around about John Starks on May 25th of last year. Yet yeah, everything between then clearly shows you favor football over basketball, which is shocking with your profile pic, Love with Kobe, and the fact you commented on this post. You think pizza is a spirit animal and posts inspirational quotes from celebrities that are fake and they've never even uh, never spoken. But they speak to you on a personal level, which means you seem like a bigot with, uh, with again, your quote, love quote for Kobe. Interesting. And all Gary has in response is Leah Root snooze. <laughs> News. Let's keep going then. You were in a relationship in 2018. Wonder what happened there. And since 2012, you've been posting the same shit over and over again, which shows your lack of excitement in life. Uh, you have a weird obsession with Paul Blart Malkoff and an offered post pictures of the Golden Girls that date back to 2011. And I'm surprised no one figured out your jack off fetish yet. <laughs> your friends made fun of your weight, which seeing how for a decade all you did was watch fishing shows, sports, and eat makes perfect sense. Only exercise um, you get is traveling to the nearby community college to watch young athletic boys run, which is unsettling. 
If you want to be a Paul Blart mall cop, you're going the opposite direction. It's funny about the rape thing, seeing how most celebs you favor have had rape molestation charges against them in their early careers, which means you like to uh, watch boys run because it's a fetish thrill and are attracted to older ladies, which goes back to my earlier statement of you being a 14-year-old CNA student that enjoys working old people's shit for a living. But seeing your fetishes in yourself, you love uh, wiping multiple people's asses, for a living, which makes sense seeing how in 2011 you made emo posts begging for attention because you're so lonely and around the time your friends were fat shaming you and it seems you lost some weight, so good for you, but you still live for the same old repetitive lifestyle for 10 years, which is sad since with your diet and activities might have only had 10 left. Might I suggest a workout supplements plan? Nah, you won't listen anyways. Seeing you know, how your friends reach out to help you and you go to them for weeks because you're ashamed, which is fine, and that's when you started to post inspirational quotes, but they weren't for you. They were for your friends to make it seem like things were getting better, but let's be honest, they aren't. If they were, you would have made lifestyle changes, but continue eating, fishing, smoking, a shit ton of weed, which will, which with your huge ungrateful dead obsession, I'm going to assume you do, unless you're also seeking attention via them, uh, as well, like you are with Kobe. You just love watching black men run while, while sweating though, don't you? And you just troll strangers profiles and then type out long boring comments. You must have a fun life. And then your response, I believe you don't know what a troll is. It's okay, Boomer, I'll help. A troll takes false information and spreads it to a mess with people. Nothing I've stated is false since anyone that uh, goes to your public profile can see the same. Also, the comments are only boring because it's about your life. Dead, washed up, and it's news button. You can't turn off. <laughs> so he goes, yawn, skank. Skank and snooze. Yeah, and yawn. Um, and he goes, ooh, name calling. It's okay, Boomer, your time is over. We all have to give up sometime. You're name calling because it's true. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you can't accept your poor life choices. Ready? Snooze. <laughs> like your life, I'll help. <laughs> like your life, I'll help hold a court if it's too much. Go back to watching angler shows and football. As you should know, there's plenty of fish to go around, but only a few that you can catch. It's okay, Boomer. It's okay. His response. We'll do skank. And then the other kid jumps in randomly and goes, his relationship ended when they found out he loved Kobe. And then... Uh, you're going back name calling typical boomer. I see you bought a friend and I'm assuming his relationship ending because he's boring and unexciting. He has no love for Kobe, so I don't know how you got those two mixed. He's pretending to jump on the popular trend, trying to stay in the loop. Also, Garrett, I'm glad you commented. I got worried that there was a gap that you were dead. So he goes, typical skank. So I just, I, I finally get it because I'm driving at this point, so I didn't get to see all this. And I come on, yeah. I have 15 notifications. And I'm like, I love that that's the only comeback you have. Not too many from back in the day. And he goes, uh, Arian, keep typing all day. You're already burning out of your pathetic life. So Leah's like, let's move on from this, Gary. I hope Catherine is doing well. And then you get Leah Root snooze. And he goes, and then you, you're like, I see you were born on April 1st. Oof, explains a lot. <laughs> um, Garrett, I just commented, I have all the time, old man. And I go, Leah, because he's a joke, and then I posted a gif. Um, <laughs> and then you- Oh yeah, because I saw that he was born April 1st, so I yeah. was like, oof. Yeah. And then, you know, a disappointment really. Pranks are just awful nowadays. And I said, this is too easy, I'm bored now. So Garrett goes, Leah, Catherine is dead, you shit back, troll, eat my dick. And I go, aw, why would you want her to eat your dick? Leah, are you a zombie now? And I said, Garrett, do you not want a penis anymore? And so Leah's like, I'm sorry for your loss, Garrett. Sorry that it constitutes name calling for me, just simply asking if she's well. Also, go back to the definition of troll, not misinformation, and eating your dick, Garrett. That's <laughs> gross. Seeing <laughs> how I'm half your age, your profile keeps making sense. And then, ready? Snooze. <laughs> your comments are also getting slower, Garrett. Might I suggest a switch from Verizon to AT&T? Faster service in your area compared to Buffalo. And I was just like, oh, you're so boring. Guess you shouldn't boomer shit up. And then, Leah, yeah, not saying Tonawanda is any better though or something. And then, like, after that, he just, he stopped. Yeah, I think he realized that I started learning more and more about him. Yeah, and he just kind of was he like, He was like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys next episode. Uh, Speaking. For of sure. <laughs> Later, broskies and hoskies. Yes. Later, alligator. Bye, bye, Garrett. Bye, Garrett. We miss you, Garrett. <laughs> Let's just start saying bye to him every day. And I'm for it. Maybe one day. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's about <laughs> it. I'm going to skip skip this because I'm going to get a new keyblade and you're going to see it. Oh, jungle key. There it is. It's literally just a key that looks like it was made out of bamboo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, that's about it. All uh, right. We will see you guys next week. All right, bye. Okay, peace out, folks, <laughs> out.